Hi everyone, it's Susan from Art by Susan King. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a chain pull. Um, I haven't, well, I did one recently, but I haven't, I used to do them a, uh, a few years ago, and um, I just have an interest now um, in getting back to doing them again, because I really love them. Um, so, I will show you the colors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using our um, Amsterdam Azo Orange. Uh, Amsterdam, this is golden yellow. Also, Amsterdam, this is uh, sky blue light. Uh, the colors I'm using are mostly um, opaque or semi-opaque. This one here is Arteza uh, Pearl Sapphire Blue. Really nice, really nice color. And I'm going to be using three piggies. Lemon Sorbet. Boogie. Excuse me, frost. Oops. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be using. That's the colors. I'm. Oh, I'm. I'm going to be using some white. Just. Um, I believe it's uh, Amsterdam um, titanium white mixed with mixed with uh, a little bit of pearl medium. And I believe I might have added uh, Floetrol to mix in. Um, I usually use Floetrol to mix with them, but this time I'm using this here, Zinsur Latex Extender. I think it's a Canadian product. Um, it's, it works like Floetrol. It's meant for um, house paint. And it eliminates brush and roller marks, improves paint flow and leveling, ideal for paints and, paints and primers. Um, it works pretty good. It keeps the paint um, colors true um, because it's uh, most it's clear. Well, it, it, it has a bit of a tint, a blue tint to it, but it dries clear. Uh, flow trawl, the American flow trawl, I find um, doesn't dry clear. So if you were using, um, well, piggies for sure, you need the um, more clear um, product. But um, other paints like this and this, you might just be able to use um, American Floetrol with that. It should be fine. Um, for the piggies, Oh, so for the paint, two paints, all I add is the paint and this, and a little bit of water if I need to. I don't want to put too much of that in, because it does create cells sometimes. The piggies are different. I have to either add gel gloss or gel, matte, matte gel or gloss gel. And I use Li Liquitex to thicken up the uh, piggy a little bit, and then I add this. Okay, so I will, um, that's it really, I think that's it. I will um, bring the camera down and we'll start. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just wanted to explain how I mixed everything into in my paints. Um, so my tube paint, all I did was I added some in my cup, and then I added, I kept adding zinser to my paints to my paint um, until I got the consistency I wanted. Um, approximately four parts paint to one part um, 
Zinser, the stuff here. <clears throat> um, and I, it drizzles off my, my stir stick and it just leaves a little mound in the cup. Um, I, you don't want it too thin, you don't want it too thick. So that's how I do the tube paint. For the piggies, I added about half a teaspoon of my piggies into, I used one of these cups here. Um, added about half a teaspoon in here, and then I added zinser to it, just a few squirts, just to disperse the uh, pigment. And then I added, for these two, I added gloss uh, gel. And for this one, I added matte. For the, uh, the boogie, I added matte. Um, so I just add, I don't know, two or three gobs, gobs. <laughs> I just added two or three, um, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, so I guess all together, maybe it was about three quarters of a teaspoon <clears throat> of this in here. I don't have a whole lot of paint in here. Um, two or three, uh, until it gets thick as, it, as if it's as thick as uh, tube paint, or maybe just a little bit not quite as thick. Um, and then I added more of the zinser, and then a little bit of water until I got it the same consistency as the tube paints. So that's how I did that. Okay, I'm going to put these away. <clears throat> with the shiny, I just want to mention, with the shiny piggies, you add the gloss. And with these ones are, um, I forget what these are called. These are more like a matte color. They're not shiny like this, so that's why I added the matte. Okay. Uh, this here is... Uh, a, a plaque that I got from the dollar store, Dollarama, and I just take the back how I wanted it, and take the back here. It has a an indent here so that you can hang it that way, but if you don't want to hang it, if if you end up with your painting, you don't want it this way. You want to hang it this way, you want to hang it this way, or whatever, right? Um, you can just leave it like that on the shelf. You don't have to hang it on the wall. And I guess if you wanted to hang it over here on the wall, you could uh, put something else here, like a little thing to hang it up with, and a string, or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you want. Okay, so I've got my chains. I've got some small chains cut, already cut. And I've got longer ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add black first. And then get some gloves on. Black base. Um, and my black base is basically just um, artist, lo artist Loft Flow Acrylic mixed with um, some flow troll and I just um, don't measure either so I just I just keep adding the flow troll until I get the right consistency it's supposed to be uh, thinner than your what you're gonna uh, pull the chain with I uh, you can't have it too thick on the bottom if you have it too thick then the, it will just eat up your colors your paint that you put down so you have to have it fairly thin. So I'm going to be doing um, a black base and then I'm going to be adding, um, I'm going to be making uh, a spider web on here. I'm going to start here and I'm going to go like this, something like this anyway. 
So I'm going to get set up here a little bit more, and then I'll come back, and then I'll come back. Okay, uh, I'm going to begin. I'm going to be adding my black base. I've got a uh, paper towel under here because it does get a little messy. I've marked where I want to start the, do the uh, cobweb when I want to start it here and then end up here and so forth like this. All right, S so yes, I'm going to add my black. And what should I spread it with? I'm going to spread it with my comb here. That's the best way to spread uh, your base for a chain pull or a string pull. So I'm going to make sure I don't have too much to begin with. That might be enough or too much. I don't know for sure. Until I start spreading it around. Okay, I need a little bit more. All right, I'm going to start off with my long chains. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the chain down how I want it. Uh, let's see, I'm starting here. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to start with my orange and yellow colors. Um, okay. Starting with boogie. I'm just, I don't have a whole lot of paint in here. I'm just going to drop a little drop right at the corner of the uh, curve. Okay. stick all right and my next color the azo orange and I'm just dropping it right beside the other color Sorry for my head being in the way. Oh. 
All right, then the golden yellow. Right next to that color. This could take a while, so what I'll do is um, fast forward some of it for you so that you don't have to watch every chain that I do because I'm doing quite a few here. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of white next. Oops. Oh, too much. Too much there. I only wanted a bit. I don't know if I can take some of that off, but. I'll just leave it, I guess. I don't want to mess with it. Now the um, lemon sorbet. And I'm, oh, I have a drip here. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull the chain and pull it right into this corner here. Not too fast, go fairly slow. There's too much um, I gotta fix up this uh, yellow part. And so I'm just gonna run a chain through. Okay, I think I'm going to have to use less, um, I was going to go here, 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 so I think I'm just going to go here and forget that, forget this one, and forget this one, so I'm only going to have one, two, three, four. I can 
touch up those little spots after. It doesn't matter. Actually, I want to just fix this. Alright. Um, I think I'm going to add more of the orange on on the, my next one. Okay, should I do? So I say. Blue, orange, blue. So I'm gonna do them these all these ones here all uh, orange and the ones in between blue. We'll see. Okay, um and uh, not sure I'm gonna put white. I might put white on some of the blue. Okay. Stop talking and just go ahead. Uh, all right, I need another chain. So now again, pull it straight towards the side. Doesn't want to get this. Maybe I've got too much on there. Oh, that one got came. So I'm just going to lift it up. Again, I'm going to fix that. Okay, you've pretty much seen how I'm doing this part. I'm going to turn off my camera, do two more, two more, and then I'm going to come back and do the blue. Okay. So, I've done them. I'm just trying to figure out how to do the inside. But I think I'm going to do a blue one here and a blue in there before I do anything else. Okay, so that's the top.
After I finish doing each one, I'm putting them in some water. I don't want to go over there so that uh, the paint doesn't dry on the chain. And then I wash it thoroughly afterwards. Okay, so now for the part I'm not quite sure about going in inside here to make it look like a spider web. I was thinking of doing blue. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip the chain in uh, some of the blue colors. Forget about the white. Um, I'm not going to go dark blue because you can barely see that. So I'm just going to alternate back and forth between the two blues in between. Try to make it look like a spider web. At least I hope. So. <clears throat> What is the prettiest color? I think I'm just going to maybe use frost. So I don't have a whole lot in here. I'm just going to dip the, the, the tip in. And then... it like that and then I'm going to pull but lift up as I pull hmm. doesn't quite look like it should looking how I hoped it would look. I'm going to be fiddling around with this a little, quite a bit. All right, I'm just going to keep playing around and then I'll come back near the end. Again, this is going to be too long for you for the video. 
I'm just going to keep doing the same thing all the way around. Okay, finished that part. Now I'm just going to do some touching up on pieces that I need to sort of fix. All right, I don't know. I think it looks like a, a spider web, but it uh, doesn't matter. It can be whatever you want. <clears throat> Whoops. I just give a bit of a close up. This is how it's gonna be, right this way, but I guess you can do, do it any way you want. But. I like it this way. <laughs> okay, I'm back and it is dry. And I have decided to um, hand paint in a little spider. Um, okay, so... Anyway, this is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching my video. And have a wonderful day. I think it's pretty cute.